understanding the concept of fully constrained sketches. Here I have a basic part. I have an overall dimension and an overall dimension. I have a locating dimension, a locating dimension, and a size dimension. I have my geometric constraints in it, and I think I'm pretty well to go. And But when I look down here, it tells me I need two more dimensions needed. I'm just having a hard time figuring out where they could be. Well, I can pick on any item. Let's say I pick on this line, and I can right-click, and I can say Display Degrees of Freedom. And it shows me that both ends of those points can be moving in which directions. And so um, i was like, hmm, okay. And But I could also do that. I can show all of them the degrees of freedom. And down here I have hide all the degrees of freedom that gets rid of them and I could turn on all the degrees of freedom in the whole sketch. And you can see in all those red areas those are degrees of freedom. Those are in which ways that this part is not constrained. It still has the ability to be moving in those directions. So so in other words, some of them are rotational. That means it can spin. Oh, that tells me something. So if I come down and I turn off my degrees of freedom, and I say, hmm, if I come up here and add in a fixed, so I fix, and I'm going to fix this particular point. Boom. It locks that point in. Now, when it's fully constrained, it turns to a, oh, kind of a purplish, blackish uh, look. And only, notice it says fully constrained. Now when I come down here and say show all my degrees of freedom, nothing is on. So now I can come down and turn it off. So it's, at this point, fully constrained. So nothing can do anything that's unexpected. It cannot stretch or shift or rotate in any location in which... Uh, I'm not expecting it to. So down here is where I want to look for how many things I need to be done to con fully constrain my item. This shows my fully constrained of all degrees of freedom. It shows everything and I can pick on any one line and right click and show degrees of freedom of any particular object that I want. So uh, we our goal is to fully constrain each part before we're done. So we want a fully constrained sketch.